All Souls Day and Purgatory Explained and Why You Should Pray for the Dead by CatholicNewsWorld.com The Catechism explains, all who die in God's grace and friendship, but still imperfectly purified, are indeed assured of their eternal salvation, but after death they undergo purification, so as to achieve the holiness necessary to enter the joy of heaven. The month of November is dedicated to the souls of those who have died. November 2nd is a special feast remembering all souls of those who have died especially the ones in purgatory. As Catholics we are especially encouraged to pray for the dead on this day and during November. The Church gives the name purgatory to this final purification of the elect, which is entirely different from the punishment of the damned. The Church formulated her doctrine of faith on purgatory especially at the councils of Florence and Trent. Purgatory, in accordance with Catholic teaching is a condition of temporal punishment for those who, departing this life in God's grace, are, not entirely free from venial faults, or have not fully paid the satisfaction due to their transgressions. A plenary indulgence, applicable only to the souls in purgatory, is granted to the faithful who on any and each day from November 1st to 8, devoutly visit a cemetery and pray, if only mentally, for the departed, on All Souls Day it is granted to those who devoutly visit a church or an oratory and recite an Our Father in the Creed. Or from home if unable to visit. This has been extended for the entire month of November in 2021. From the beginning the Church has honored the memory of the dead and offered prayers and suffrage for them, above all the Eucharistic sacrifice, so that, thus purified, they may attain the beatific vision of God. The Church also commands almsgiving, indulgences, and works of penance undertaken on behalf of the dead. This teaching is also based on the practice of prayer for the dead, already mentioned in sacred scripture, therefore, Judas Maccabeus, made atonement for the dead, that they might be delivered from their sin. Prayer for the Dead Eternal Father, I offer you the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, for those in my own home and in my family. Amen. This prayer was given to a nun named Saint Gertrude by our Lord and legend says it frees 1000 souls. Please subscribe to Catholic News World's YouTube channel. Thanks and God bless.